When you first open up Excel, you're gonna have this grid section and you're gonna to have to put these numbers in by hand. You don't have to put the title here. I put it in here to make a point. You want your columns to match the way that the columns are on your report sheet. So the columns have the volume first and then the pressure. This is the way Excel wants it. It, it, it assumes that the first column is your X column and the second column is your Y column. This is how you wanna do it. When you title it pressure versus volume, that's Y versus X. So we're gonna plot this. We're going to go to insert, and then we're gonna go over here to this scatter chart. We're just gonna do the dots. We're gonna click that, and there's our plot. Now we need to do a few things to fix it. And we're gonna use this plus sign here, and we need to add in our access titles. Once we get done, we're gonna to go to our chart title and we're gonna label it pressure versus volume. Then we're gonna click on our axis title and this is our Y axis, which is pressure. So you're gonna put pressure here. And you always put the units. And then right here, you're gonna say volume. and you always put the units. Last but not least, this is actually, um, it could be improved a little bit. The area it could, it's in could be improved. So I'm gonna change my axis a little bit to make it uh, so that it fits it better. So my range is just from like 1.7 to 3.4. So that would make a better chart if I make it from like 1.5 to maybe 3.5. See how that kind of fills up the space better. That's a nice fill up of the space. And then same with the volume. If we look at our volume, it only goes from like 4.7 and it's this option right here. And it only, and so maybe I would say four to the max looks like it's 20.7. So maybe 22 is fine. Yeah, it automated that. Once I get all of this done, make sure this all looks just like this. I'm gonna right click, make sure I just get this outside. And then I can save it as a picture or you can screenshot and crop it down and then I can stick it in my lap.